Hi everybody, it's Caitlin back with another video. I said in my last video that I would be doing videos every Friday and Friday was going to be my day, but I decided to do the Diversathon that's currently going around booktube right now. I thought my grandma was gonna walk in. I'm supposed to do Diversathon this, this year. This is a new thing from what I can gather, you know, from the booktube world. Uh, I'm a big advocate for reading books from, you know, all kinds of people, all kinds of viewpoints, all kinds of different perspectives that you don't normally get. This is my TBR pile for the Diversathon. I decided to go with books that obviously were all by people of color. Um, so that Everything I Never Told You by Celeste Ng. And I have to be honest, I read, I started reading this in preparation for Diversathon, and I started reading it a couple of days ago, and it was so good that I could not put it down, so I've technically already finished this one, but I really want to talk about it, so it's staying in the, in the, in the video. That I Never Told You is about a Chinese-American family living in the 1970s it's it starts the book starts off with the sentences Lydia is dead but they don't know that yet which it's a really good opener um and it just kind of spirals out from there it's kind of about interwoven families about some undercurrent undercurrent tensions I don't think that's grammatically correct. Second book on my TBR pile is Wave by Sonali Dirinayagala. Uh, this is a true story. It's about uh, Sonali. It's, you know, a real story about how her fa her entire family was just swept away by a tsunami that came about her hometown. And she was the only one that survived. And this is basically her account of that of the event, you know, trying to deal with the aftermath. This is like a pretty popular book, just like everything I never told you, so you've probably heard of it, but I've never read it and I'm super excited because it's one of the 10 best books of the year by New York Times Book Review, so there we go. I mean, I don't think it was this year. This has been out for a while, but yeah. The third book on my TBR is Tar Baby by Toni Morrison. Uh, Toni Morrison is one of my favorite writers. I am on a mission to read all of her books because I love her writing so much. I've read um, Beloved, Song of Solomon, and The Bluest Eye. And I'm trying to work through them all and I've had Tar Baby for a while and Morrison's <laughs> topics are mainly obviously racism and just exploring the relationships between blacks and whites and how it's developed over time. So I'm really excited for Tar Baby. <laughs> fourth book on my TBR is actually a play. It's called A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. Uh, I'm going to read part of the back to you. So, A pioneering work by an African-American playwright, this play was also a radically new representation of black life, resolutely authentic, fiercely unsentimental, and unflinching in its vision of what happens to people whose dreams are constantly deferred. Oh, like the Langston Hughes. Huh. Funny. Okay. So I, I like reading plays. I mean, I feel like you can get a lot from them. And I'd actually never heard of this until I was browsing in a bookstore, you know, and I just saw it and thought it would be a good read for me. So that's on my list. Nada for Rain by Rebecca Gonzalez. So I found this in the clearance section of a used bookstore that I go to with my mom. And it's really cool because these poems were all originally written in Spanish and they were translated. Rebecca Gonzalez, I've never heard of her before. She's a very small poet. I did a little research and um, her poems kind of center around, you know, her life living in her culture and like, you know, her observations of the world around her. So I'm super excited to read these. So that's my TBR for Diversathon. Uh, I'm super excited to be doing this, and if you guys have any recommendations, not for Diverse Fun because I'll be pretty busy with these, minus everything I never told you, which I've cheated on. Um, if you have any recommendations for me, please leave a comment below. I love reading, you know, multicultural work. I actually, I take a lot of multicultural literature classes in school, you know, I'm an English major, so. Anyways, uh... 
I have to get to reading because I have a lot to read this week. So I'll see you next Monday for my Diversathon recap. Bye, everybody.